We're learning new details today about a missing Texas teen who was found this week after eight years. Police have now launched an investigation into the alleged disappearance of Rudy Farias after some said that he was living with his mother the entire time. And a warning, some of the details in this story are disturbing. NBC News reporter Gary Grumbach is, is following this for us, and he joins us. Gary, uh, what do police say happened to the teen? Houston police announced today that the 25-year-old Rudy Farias, whose mother, Janie Santana, filed a missing persons report back in March of 2015, was actually only missing for one day. Investigators say Rudy's mother lied to everyone, investigators, neighbors, and friends, for eight years, saying the person they were seeing with her regularly was a nephew, not Rudy. Rudy was reported missing by his mother in March of 2015 after he reportedly left his home with their two dogs for an evening walk and, according to her, never returned home. But Houston police said they have had multiple interactions with who they now realize was Rudy Farias over the past several years, but that he gave fake names when interacting with these officers. There are also allegations of sexual abuse in this case, but police say, based on Rudy's interview with them yesterday, there was no sexual abuse. Here's what Houston Police Chief Troy Finner had to say about whether or not they're classifying Rudy as a victim. The, the investigation is still going on, uh, Courtney, and um, I'm not going to say that he's a victim or not. I, I'm thinking, you know, and, and, and saying that we're going to treat this just as we do with any uh, potential victim or victim, and, and we're going to give uh, respect um, to everybody that's, that's involved. Uh, we're going to conduct our investigation, and uh, we're... we're kind of right at the beginning of it. Uh, this investigation is going to go on after this uh, press conference. And as for where Rudy is right now, police say he's living with his own mother by his own choice. Kate. And Gary, do we know what will happen to that mother? So the Harris County District Attorney's Office has declined to charge both Janie Santana and Rudy Farias. In a statement to NBC News, they tell me there was no probable cause, but that the investigation is ongoing. Kate. All right, Gary Grumbach, thank you.